This is a Alpa 40 millimeter Alpagon lens. Um, it is actually the Rodenstock 40 millimeter HR Digeron W lens and Alpa rebrand this as an Alpagon. This is my demonstration one, a little bit early with a blue band and they are now gold banded. This lens is mounted short barrel. Now this does confuse some people and I'll try my best to explain it. First of all, whether a lens is mounted long barrel or short barrel, the focusing from infinity close is always possible on both lenses. It is simply how they sit on the camera. So whilst I don't have another 40 millimeter, I do have here a 58 millimeter. Now this lens is not mounted short barrel. A 58 millimeter lens needs approximately 58 millimeters of extension to focus at infinity. Um, and obviously, and therefore would sit simply in the camera directly like so. No possibility of any spaces that are possible with a short barrel mounted lens. So on this, you would simply have the lens, if you like long barrel, your adapter plate and your digital back. When we talk about short barrel lenses, the Rodenstock HR series of lenses have uh, flange focal distance that are often longer than their given focal length. And therefore we have enough room to be able to offer the facility to take up what would normally be the long barrel by taking half of that extension and making it separate. So if we wanted a 40 millimeter long barrel, it would be one extension, one tube set like so. But by making it short barrel 17, we have the possibility of a 17 millimeter spacer like this, which can go on the front or on the rear of the camera for better balancing. The advantage of this is also that whilst you can buy a straight spacer, you can also buy a spacer that will give you tilt, or if you mount it sideways, will give you swing. So this is how the Alpa would get its indirect movements, as it is only the camera body, if chosen, that would give you direct movements. So for the short barrel 40 millimeter lens, which would also be applicable to a 32, um, and now also the 23, um, and also the 70, the 17 millimeter spacer would be required if we didn't want to order it long barrel. The long barrel really is the option for people who absolutely know they don't want any camera movements um, and also have no want to perhaps take up some of the balance of the weight of the camera by putting the spacer on the rear. If we do want camera movements, then short barrel is the way to go and it allows, as I say, this tilt swing accessory, which again can be put front or rear. Now with a 50 millimeter and lenses longer than the 70, for example, the 90 in the 138, these lenses require a longer short barrel. Hence, we have short barrel 34 and short barrel 51. And all this means again, is quite simply that the lens is put in a mount that requires a spacer, but instead of being 17 millimeters, it will be 34 millimeters or 51 millimeters thick. And again, can go on the front or the rear. So the option really is whether you want camera movements or better balancing. Most people do go with the short barrel option because it simply gives you the options and the lens also is a little bit more compact um, for when we're transporting them, particularly if we're talking of a long focal length lens. You can also, if you had a 23 and a 40 or a 32 and a 70, then you only require one spacer because they could be used with both lenses.